Coming up on Around Kern County, the holiday season is officially here. We're sharing how public health is helping our community enjoy the festivities while still staying on track of their fitness goals. And the probation department is giving our local youth life-changing skills. We're giving you a special look into Camp Irwin Owen when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. It's officially December, and we're kicking off this special month with a story you've really never seen before. Our probation department runs a very special place known as Camp Irwin Owen, where youth probationers are taught the life-changing skills to prepare them for a second chance. Watch now. Camp Owen serves um... Uh, male youth ages 14 to 18. All the youth have been arrested uh, for committing a crime of some sort. They get uh, assessed through an evidence-based system and we take the youth that are uh, moderate or high risk to reoffend. There's many lessons taught to the youth at camp. Um, some of the things we focus on, um, responsibility, trustworthiness, holding them accountable for their behavior, whether that be positive or negative, is something that we like to highlight. Um, we like to praise when they're doing well and hold them accountable when they're not. Well, Camp Baron Owens has helped me a lot. I have a lot of anger issues, and that's one thing I managed to, to control since I've been here at Camp Baron Owens. Um, our program is a system which uh, rewards personal responsibility, personal accountability, hard work, my permanent job here at Camp Bern Owens is grounds. What we do at grounds is like, we make sure all the acres here at camp is looking nice and clean. One of the main things that we try and do is get them to believe in themselves. A lot of these kids come from a lot of trauma, and things that haven't gone really well in their lives, and so they can be very difficult for them to see a future for themselves. And so to be able to show them a different way and provide hope, is you know something that we strive for. My goals for the future would be like getting getting like a good job, being there for my son, uh, supporting my family, um, graduating high school, getting my high school diploma, possibly going to college too. The the youth also um, learn the lesson of citizenship. They go out, they help the community. The youth that that are here are essential in maintaining and running this camp. Uh, without them, uh, a lot of services couldn't happen. Um, they, they collect eggs, they feed the hogs, they tend to the garden, plant crops, sow crops, um, and then they eat the crops. And so the, the, there's a lot of uh, personal responsibility that, that comes with the work they do up here as well. Since 1938, camp has been here and has been servicing the community and has helped thousands of youth turn their lives around. And that's something camp is going to continue to do. Uh, we're here and we're helping. And the holiday season is here and public health wants to make sure you enjoy the festivities while still feeling your best. This month, the department kicked off their Healthy Holidays campaign filled with helpful tips designed to keep you on track of your fitness goals while still indulging in seasonal treats. From how to tackle a large buffet to easy activities you can add into your daily routine. Spokeswoman of Public Health, Michelle Corson, is here now with the details. One of the things we do talk about is adding more veggies to your meal. And that may sound really simple, but starting with a salad, uh, starting with a veggie appetizer, when you think of adding healthier foods, we want you to kind of think that way. Um, adding some activity, take a walk after dinner, just do some of those simple things to make sure that you are remaining active. And you wanna add things like play with your kids, take time for yourself. This is something that we really don't do enough. That's really gonna help us with our stress level is adding some of this time for you and your family. And then finally, we need to get enough sleep. During the holidays, it's really common for us to kind of have an abnormal sleeping schedule, and this is really detrimental to our overall health. So we want you to stay on your sleep schedule as much as possible, and grab that nap on the weekend if you can, add just those times of rest, 
Those are just some quick tips I think for us all to be thinking about. Be sure to follow Kern County Public Health on social media all month long for these free and easy resources. You can also visit their website, kernpublichealth.com, for more information. You can give back this holiday season by partnering with Kern County Animal Services. If you don't have space under your tree for a new pet, you can always volunteer at their shelter. Animal Services is in need of extra help, especially on weekday mornings, with cleaning and caring for their cats and puppies. To get involved, just visit kerncountyanimalservices.org or call 661-868-7145. And if you don't have time to volunteer, you can always make a difference by donating to Shelter Pets in Need. Animal Services is partnering with the historic Bakersfield Fox Theater for a gift giving. All you have to do is donate one item in exchange for a free Fox Theater movie ticket. Animal Services is in need of blankets, dog treats, cat toys, peanut butter, and canned veggies. Donation drop-off locations include the Kern County Animal Services Shelter at 3951 Fruitvale Avenue in Bakersfield and the Fox Theater Box Office at 2001 H Street, also in Bakersfield. And we're ending today by sharing some exciting news from the Kern County Library. Anna Marie Odo has the story. Some good news for local readers. The McFarland Branch Library is extending their hours. Beginning Saturday, December 3rd, residents can visit the library during additional weekday and Saturday hours, giving the community more opportunities to access their services and resources. The branch's new hours of operation are Tuesday through Thursday from 11 in the morning until 7 in the evening, Friday from 11 in the morning until 6 in the evening, and Saturday from 10 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. For a list of current open locations for a branch near you or to view the library's digital collection, please visit their website, kerncountylibrary.org. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.